it's Salty Alley here today, and we're doing something kind of a little different. I know usually I talk about products, but today we're gonna talk about fish. So these little babies are a bunch of Yellow Lab African cichlids. Um, these are actually a bunch that a customer had raised at home, and uh, they're getting a little big for the 29 gallons, so we're gonna actually move them into the bigger tanks up at the front with our bigger African cichlids. And uh, we're actually making room for a bunch more little babies that uh, we raised ourselves. <laughs> so if you want to take a look at these guys, these are little baby OBs. Um, we know the, the mother is an OB, she's from our display tank. So in the display tank they breed a lot. Um, so what we did is we stripped her. And anyone uh, who is an African cichlid person will probably know what that means. But if you don't, uh, basically what that means is, <laughs> what that means is that uh, they, they're mouth roots, so they hold all the eggs in their mouth and they incubate the eggs in there, they hatch in there, and they hold the fry in there and protect them until they're old enough to eat on their own. They basically, they have a yolk sac, so until that yolk sac is gone, they hold them in their, in their mouth. Once they're ready, they'll spit them out. But we didn't want to spit, have the, her spit them out in the tank because 99% of them would get eaten. So I was like, let's save them. And we knew she was ready, it was about 16, 17 days or so, which is about how long it takes. Um, and we take her out of the tank and we actually open up her mouth very gently into a cup and all the babies come out. Uh, it was really, really cool. They're basically little tiny fish already at that size. Uh, we took them home, uh, raised them to about this size and they were just ready to move on to a bigger tank. So we're gonna be putting them in this tank here, which we just emptied out with these yellow laps. So let's get them into their new tank. So our water here is all the same, very similar, so we're really not gonna uh, do any type of like drip acclimating or anything, we're just gonna move them right on over. So these guys, super cool thing, baby fish have an instinct when they're born to hide. They know better that if they're out and about, they're going to get eaten. Uh, like I said, when they're in the big tank, there's a risk of 90% of them getting eaten because usually the babies when they first come out are just kind of like spit out and so the other fish will know and they'll come right over and grab them. But a lot of times the mother will hide in the rocks when she does it so a good portion of them will hide and hide in the rocks. But like I said, sometimes they don't. But most of the time they have that instinct that a bigger fish may eat them and they'll just hide. Uh, everybody in here is really not big enough to eat any of these guys and they should be just fine. Uh, but they will, they'll probably all, mostly all hide in the rocks until they are a bit bigger, until they uh, feel safe enough to come out. So we got those babies out. Joe just did a nice big water change on this for the new guys. And uh, I, I think they're ready to go in. We just got to get a net. Big one. <laughs> Alrighty. My little fish of friends. All right, in they go. There we go, you guys do the honors. Ready? All righty, two months, new baby peacocks available. They'll be big enough to buy. Go back to Allie. <laughs> like he said, it'll take about two months for these guys to get about two and a half inches or so and to start getting their color. Right now, they're just white and gray. They look kind of boring, but these guys are OB baby peacocks and they might have some other things mixed in we really don't know especially uh, when they're in a big tank like that I'm not totally sure who the father is I think it's another OB but we'll just have to see and watch how these guys grow up so as you guys can see here this is our African cichlid display here at our Seacon store and it is packed with fish so we have uh, mostly males in here but there are some girls in here uh, as you can see this female here is actually tumbling her eggs. So in, she's got all of her eggs in her mouth, but she just recently picked up a few days ago. Uh, we actually watched the whole process happen, which was really, really neat. And what she's doing is she's kind of like making a chewing action with her mouth and she's tumbling those eggs because they need to constantly be kind of moving, otherwise they'll fungus. So it looks like she's chewing. And what she's doing is just moving them all around in her mouth and making sure that they stay good and not fungus. Also, you can see here, there's a bunch of babies and they're all kind of spread out throughout the rocks. And that's what they do. They have that instinct to hide. They know that those big fish will eat them. So they stay within the rocks and where the big fish can't get to them and they will grow up and be big adults in here in no time. They're growing super fast in here and it's all ages because they're always breeding, especially the yellow labs. They're basically all baby yellow labs. There are some OBs in here, but you can see them kind of, they start super tiny and then there's some that are already medium size. They're just growing like crazy, super, super neat. So if you guys are looking to have a wicked cool aquarium in your tank with lots of action and color, this is the tank for you. African cichlids are such a joy to have. They're beautiful and they're as close as you can get to salt water without being salt water. They have the color, the action, the beauty, and the size 
they're big fish. You can do a nice big aquarium just like this planet, 220 gallon tank uh, with some filtration. And you could get one just like it in your home. So if you guys want to do that, come on in to Ocean State Aquatics here at Seekonk or down at our Coventry location and get one for yourself.